Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel and uh, I am quite excited about this particular web pen testing series that we are doing and we are in the 14th challenge. 14th challenge is a challenge that falls under the intermediate category called the level or the stage 2. Right? Okay, in this particular uh, level, if I clear this level, I get to earn 5 points. If I use a hint, I lose 1 point. Right? And let's go ahead and read the question. As soon as Vinod Sendhil figures out the audio, he sees a projection from his computer in the base. Okay? He wonders why all the secrets and the information about jewels are suddenly digitized. From the passwords and the codes before, they figured out Nader Shah and his jewels were definitely attacked and the loot was split between different people. If only there were secret code converters that could help, if only there was a secret code converter that would help them figure out latitudes and longitudes of place that had all the hidden jewels. The projector projects a jumbled code on the wall. Okay, and it says click here for the password. Let us do that. Let's click here for the password. When we do that, we are seeing a pop up which says get to the password from this location. I do a right click, copy, I say OK. Now, what I do is, I want you all to understand, uh, you know, what is encryption, what is encoding. Encryption is usually an algorithm that is applied over existing data, plain text data, to convert it to a cipher text data. And this is majorly, the major purpose of doing this itself is security, right? Unlike encoding, encoding one form of data can be converted to another form of data maybe for transmission or for storage. It necessarily is not for security, right? And for decoding the encoded data, you don't really require a key because they are usually using popular algorithms to do it. But for encrypted data to decrypt it back again, you definitely need to have a key, right? User provided customizable key. Now let us see something called the base 64, right? I just wanted to introduce this. See this page loaded base64decode.org, right? So on the top it says decode base64 format and there is a decode button. Likewise, there is another website called instead of decode, say encode. See this is another site which looks exactly similar but it says encode, right? So I am just trying to encode my name from Vinod. What does it look like? It looks like this in base 64 format but i go to the other site called base 64 decode now i paste this particular payload that i got as a pop-up message by clicking on the link now i say decode let's see what happens wow please pay attention so the data that we decoded is definitely a base 64 decoded or encoded data right how am I saying it? I am saying it because this particular decoded data looks like a longitude and latitude to me, right? I am reading this part of the question. If only there was a secret code converter that would help us to figure out the latitude and the longitude of the place. Beautiful. Now I go to online site, lat and longitude. Oh, map I just say lat long in this particular place I'm just pasting the latitude and the longitude okay and I say find let's see what happens Beautiful. Let's see where it is showing. Latitude and longitude.
Okay. I think I made a small mistake. Okay, let me go to another site. This probably is not something that I'm comfortable with. Okay. Uh, I'm saying kit I'm just copying it from this particular page. Right? From here I go to base 64 decode again. From this base 64 decode, I paste it and I decode this. This is a value that I get. Now what I do is I close this advertisement and put that data here. Now upon doing it, let me say get address. Let us see what happens. Oh, it's not able to get it's not showing any other it's showing the place where i am from okay mm. gps coordinate finder there is a website called gps coordinate finder let me put the latitude and the longitude like this lovely so this has taken us to this particular place beautiful it says see this it says taj mahal west gate east gate so there's a river bank here and what are we looking at we are exactly looking at taj mahal agra right so let us try the password here I am going to try this longitude latitude as a password. It's not working because that is not the stored password, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Taj Mahal. I hope it works. Beautiful, right? We were successfully able to clear this. And the interesting part is we learned what is base 64 encoding, base 64 decoding. The data got uh, transposed into a longitude and latitude. We mapped that to a Google map uh, actual location and it pointed out this location called Taj Mahal. We used that and password perfectly works. How cool is that? This is almost like a quiz or a mystery maze kind of a challenge. But interestingly, I hope you're all learning something out of this, right? Okay, in case you found this interesting and you think someone, uh, you know, in your friends or your team would be interested in such a thing, please consider sharing and subscribing. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.